Who is going to win the Euro Soccer Championships? Fans Honestly. want to know. Honestly, I think England have very good and uh, young alliance. You know, they have very good young team like uh, Sterling, Kane, Mount, Phillips, Walker, Pickford. Very good team, and they're gonna play home. You know, last time when they win title, something like it was 1966 when they win World Cup. After that, they don't win nothing. Right now, they have gold team, and Italy. I think they have big chance because of uh, they have very experienced team. You know, they are like Banucci, Kivini, Immobile. All these guys, they have good experience, but. My opinion, England have to win. I think they deserve. They deserve. So you before you have to wait for injuries, of course. No flag here. The mobile is in on England. It's a clever ball from Georginia. Last year, Stones has taken another chance here, and the mobile is in again. And this has been a very, very uncertain start by one of it. Tarkovsky, it's a really good ball into Lingard, and Bart is in here. Well, that was a terrific last ditch challenge from Di Chilio. They bring it to Cantreva. Since it was Immobile! And he's had chances now. The leading scorer in Serie A this season. And he should be off the mark tonight. It's a lovely little overlap from Sam Acosta. Just gives Cantreva space to whip one in. It's a fantastically frightened ball. And mobile has got to score that. He really has. He's had three chances now. He doesn't hit the target. And again, starts to play his own advantage. Slips it in. Jamie Vardy stopped by Donnarumma and hooks away by Bonucci. First clear sight of the Italian goal. And it falls to a man in goal scoring form. Jamie Vardy. Lovely little turn from Stern. There's the space in behind them. Centre backs. Vardy makes a great little run. One run for the defender, then one for himself. Pololo put in possession by Lingard, who then brought down Sterling twice. Quickly taken, and here's Vardy! England leads! Jamie Vardy takes advantage in grand style. Full marks to the referee for allowing the free kick to be taken quickly. Jamie Vardy was wide awake. And smashed his seventh England goal into the Italian net. Now the referee may well be reviewing this. Was the ball stationary when the free kick was taken? I believe it was. It's a fabulous finish. Great closing there from Lingard. They pinch the ball. Sterling. There's a foul there. He plays on the referee. There's another foul. Hand on, takes it quickly. Great thinking from Lingard and Vardy smashes it in the top corner. Clever play from England. Jamie Vardy has scored against Spain, he scored against Holland, he scored against Germany, and now he's over it. Skillfully done. And the cool stab of the ball from Carl Walker could have taken it anywhere. It, did deflect the ball behind for a corner. It's a little bit easy how he's got in there. There's the half tackle there from Dyer, and then there's a gap in between John Stones and couldn't get off chance goes. Caught out a bit from the short corner, and here's Parolo now with space. Still. Now Young. Well, it's deflected on the way through it, and we'll have the consolation of a corner kick. Well, there are real possibilities of another goal there. It's a lovely break again, isn't it? England on the counter, Sterling pace, head up. Good timing with the pass, and Young decides to go with his left foot. Just gets a flip on Zabacosta, but better from England. There's a little touch, just takes it round the post. Counts for nothing. Gerald Southgate said on the eve of the Holland game that he knew what his starting 11 would be if the World Cup. Now Young. Terrific position. Terrific defending too by Benucci. we play from that right hand side in front of Zampa Costa here. In towards Immobile. We won't catch up with that. Oxlade Chamberlain who's had space for a little while now. 
His left footy short. And he's straight at Donnarumma. Good play again, wasn't it? Dyer bursting through that midfield. Play Sterling again. Influential. Just a nice little dummy change of angle. Good strike straight. He's got there ahead of Tarkovsky. And his no play with the shot, which under pressure he wasn't able to get any real it's young with the corner he's not his best and as far as Lalana back is diagonal balls that's Lingard into Sterling and now Lalana and Sterling that's a lovely move he deserved the kind of finishing that Sterling has been providing routinely for his club this season yeah lovely wasn't it one touch two touch one two's movement just leans back on it, can't get round it. That's just the one thing he's got to get better at for England. He's doing it for club, but I don't think he's scored for 18 games for England. Cover. This is Lorenzo Insigne. His free kick is floating and drifting. And Jack Butler knew it. Yeah, he's tried to go goalkeeper side, and I think uh, Butler let it covered anyway. A technician. Jorginho, he's lifted it into Insignia. Oh, it was a terrific ball across the face of goal. I think he was looking for Bellotti rather than the far post. And in the end, he bisected the pair of them. It was a wonderful ball from Jorginho. Look, little one-two, he runs. He's trying to get it across the goal, isn't he? Just runs out of space. Yeah, he's trying to wrap his left foot round it to put his teammate in, but that was close. That's the closest they've come. He's done better here. Now he's forced the issue, gone down in some pain. I think Italy are appealing for a corner rather than a penalty. And the corner's been given. It was a positive run, wasn't it, from Chiesa? And uh, draws three England players. There's no real tackle there, is there? Young thinks about tackling, but stands off and does the right thing. He's his leg out to make a tackle. He might have a case, but I don't think that's a penalty. Come on, ref, it's a school night. And he's given a penalty here. Penalty. ...with a chance to equalise for Italy. It was an emphatic penalty. Struck beyond Butland with too much power for even his giant frame to get across and stop. On the advice of his video assistant, the referee pointed to the spot and Italy have equalised. It's a good pen. It's a very good pen. It really is. No chance, even though Button chooses the right side, there's no chance of saving that. It's a good penalty because of the time as well. It's nothing worse than being delayed as a penalty taker. Galliotti, he made the most of it. And senior. A victory over Holland and a draw with Italy are the uh, bare facts of England's last international week before Gareth Southgate finalises his squad for the World Cup finals but he has learned a great deal about a host of players in his squad during the course of the last few days plenty to reflect on and now the big decisions are to be made we'll be hearing the thoughts of Slavin Bilic, Lee Dixon and Ian Wright in just a moment and when it's finished England won, Italy won